Every medical professional wants to increase survival in men with prostate cancer. But did you know that actually exercise increases survival in men with prostate cancer? Is that true? That is true. And actually, we will be looking at some clinical trials together that had thousands of men with prostate cancer and they were observing them over many, many years. And they found that some exercises are better than others. Now, what are these exercises? How often do you need to do them? How much and how hard? Let's look into it. I will be going over those trials really quickly in this video because what's important and what I, what I want to put the most emphasis on is what you can do right now today to reap those benefits. But if you wanted to read them in more detail, you can find them in the description of this video. Now, the first study comes to us from the Harvard Public School of Health and they looked at 2,705 men between 1990 and 2008. So that's 18 years of following up these men. They found that men who did three hours or more of vigorous activity per week, and we'll talk what is vigorous activity, compared to men who did less than one hour, had a 50% lower risk of all-cause mortality. And that's death from any source, even outside of prostate cancer. For example, a cardiovascular event. But when it came specifically to mortality from prostate cancer, they found that men who did more than three hours of exercise, and that's vigorous exercise per week, compared to men who did less than one hour, had a 61% reduced risk of death from prostate cancer. How crazy is that? I don't know about you, but 61% for me is a huge risk reduction. That's something that you really cannot ignore. Now, the same group followed up with another analysis on the same data set and found that even walking briskly, so walking fast, not only reduces the mortality, as we talked before, but it also reduces the chance of progression of the prostate cancer. So that means that there is a less chance for you to go into more advanced stages of disease, which also require more difficult and uh, intensive treatments, which also bring much harsher side, side effects. They also found that even though very, very few men engaged in vigorous exercise, such as running, cycling, swimming, tennis, etc. Things that really get your heart rate up for quite a bit of time. The men who did engage in these activities every week had a further improvement in survival. And similar findings were found from two other clinical trials that you can find in the description. Actually, one of them had more than 7,300 men and the other one followed the men for 17 years. So there is a clear association between exercise and increased survival in prostate cancer. And what is clear as well is that the duration and the intensity play a role in the survival. Now, what does this mean for you? What kinds of exercises you must do for how long and how hard? What can you start doing today? Before that, if you click like on this video, it's gonna help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. How does exercise work? And what are the mechanisms of exercise that actually help stop progression and increase survival? These scientists said that exercise actually works on multiple levels. It decreases chronic inflammation and actually the cancer thrives in an environment of uh, persistent elevated inflammation in the body. It uh, decreases the bioavailable levels of insulin growth factor 1. It decreases insulin resistance. 
and it increases the levels of adiponectin in the body. And all those things actually fight cancer, fight the progression and help us survive longer. The cancer tries to sabotage these mechanisms or just its very own existence sabotages these mechanisms. The tumor can survive and can thrive in these environments, but unfortunately us, the rest of our body cannot. So by implementing exercise and by having that stressor, that stimulus of exercise in the body, reversing that vicious cycle that the, that the tumor releases, we help keep the tumor at bay and fight against it. What you can start doing right now, however, to get the benefits based on those trials is number one, start doing brisk walking every single day. These studies found that doing brisk walking for more than three hours per week was associated with a significant increase in survival from prostate cancer specifically. And doing more than three hours per week equates to more than 25 to 30 minutes per day. So what I would say is, uh, if possible, try to accumulate at least 10,000 steps every day, and you can use your smartphone to track your, your steps every day. But when you're walking, do that briskly. Try to walk as fast as possible. Of course, don't uh, over-exaggerate, but quicken your pace whenever you can. I would suggest getting up from your desk every hour on the hour and doing a bit of walk, maybe five minutes. Uh, that will also help you help fight the deleterious effects of sitting. And you can, you can find a free reminder that beeps every hour on your phone. So it reminds you to get up and do a lap around the place that you're working at. Also, many of us have pets. So when you're walking your dog, go outside and try to walk fast, especially if it's in a park, that will also give some exercise to your dog. And number two, vigorous exercise. Vigorous exercise means something that is a bit shorter in duration, maybe 20 minutes, and that really gets your heart rate up. It's not just walking, it looks something like running, something like swimming, cycling, tennis, okay? It's going to be a, a high intensity aerobic activity and it's going to be particularly effective, effective if you can combine it with weights. So there is a lot of programs today that you can follow. You can find those on my website and I will be putting up some videos on my YouTube channel. But combine high intensity interval training. It is short, it is sweet, it is punchy, it gets your heart rate up. It uh, incre increases all the antioxidants in your body and it fights the cancer. So do vigorous activities, find an activity that you enjoy. You, maybe you wanna try swimming or tennis, you never know, you might find something that is really enjoyable for you. But if you just like exercising, there are tons of programs that you can do to get your heart rate up, give your muscles a good stimulus and fight the cancer at the same time. I want to tell you that on my website, you can find programs that you can start doing from today to fight your cancer, so suppress the tumor growth and also reduce any side effects you might be experiencing from the cancer treatments. So be sure to check that out. Now, I did mention before that exercise can increase survival from prostate cancer, but also reduce progression of prostate cancer. So it doesn't let it grow, it doesn't let it become metastatic and spread. But you might be wondering, how long before I start seeing those results? Do I need to exercise for years, few months or even weeks are enough before I start uh, helping my body fight the cancer and fight the tumor? Well, I will say that the answer will surprise you. But this is a whole other topic that we will cover in another video. So I will see you guys in the next video and until then, let's keep fighting.